Hey there team. So, into episode 11 now of the Inner Wife narrative campaign. So we'll start with a quick decision I made. Now, um, this may be something that some people disagree with, but I quite liked the idea of it. And since this is a narrative campaign of sorts, I, f I felt good enough to do it. Um, Bregness. Now, you may remember that at the end of the last episode, the large town of Bregness had a population of 7,000, by far being my most populated settlement. And I didn't really like that idea, so what I decided for that was most of the population of Bregness, or a lot of the population of Bregness, was either, either an orc or enslaved in some way. So the orcs, or orc men, as they may have been uh, for, for many cases, would have been executed, uh, or chased away. Um, preferably executed, but a few of them might have escaped. And then many of them, as I say, would have been enslaved. Uh, possibly some from Rohan or from Gondor. So that is why I, right off the bat, uh, removed 4,000. Uh, just stripped them off and had them move off to uh, various places that they would have been. As either they were people that are still loyal to Isengard's cause that would have escaped... Uh, as I say, orcs being killed, orc men being killed, or um, slaves being freed and allowed to return back to their original homeland, uh, possibly even to the north in Bree, uh, being having been enslaved by the Dunlendings and then sold to the people or to the orcs of Isengard. So, and then I took another grand and sent 500 to Londair, uh because of course that would have been what my original leader would want not my original, sorry, previous leader of Forend, uh, he really believes in Londair. He really has high hopes for it. So he would have been very keen on sending anybody that is willing to go and repopulate the the city of Londair. It's a massive, it's a, it's a huge area that we just <laughs> don't have the people to fill up. So a lot of people would have been willing to do that. Perhaps even some Gondorians that are uh, not really wanting to brave the journey south through the dark territory of Isengard and willing to just side with us and, and move to somewhere that is more similar to their culture. And then I threw an, the other 500 into Herot uh, because it's quite close by and it uh, would have been an okay place. In addition to that, I dropped a grand from uh, Dunyard. Uh, basically just to symbolize Dunlendings that were very discontent with living under the control of an, of an Enidwythian confederation. So they would have been Dunlendings that once uh, Dunard was lost, they run off to Wisengard or run off to Byreg or something of that nature. So um, I just feel more comfortable with that population wise and um i tried to make really like it was more of a removal of population rather than a spreading and uh, but it does benefit long a little bit so hey uh sorry if people don't like that uh just kind of wanted to put that out at the start but uh, i i hope everybody can can be kind of be understanding of it at least either way jumping right into this uh i think we'll get cracking right away with an attack on byrig let's actually do my my spies and diplomats first yeah just i kind of want him just watching karn doom just because it's quite an interesting little place and i want to watch out for the really menacing uh things that uh, that can stray out from uh, from karn doom uh, of course we saw up there that's the owned by the high elves now that's unfortunate it would have been nice to have taken that for ourselves and we might try to buy it from the high elves at some point but uh but we cannot for now you though um i do kind of want to try to try to grab this location yes, my lord. and i don't think that there's going to be another attack on argon should i at least leave something behind to defend argon though would probably be a good idea uh, let's maybe leave. We have a lot of archers, so if we if we send a, a guy to Argon, then that'll be all right. Then what he's got left, I'm going to be having you move west. Oh, I don't actually know where that is. Somewhere around here. We'll hopefully find it. And, uh, oh, we do have these guys as well that can move up to try and assist. There it is. Great. Yeah, if we can, if we can just snag this location too. It's, oh, that is part of the old, um remnants of Cardlin, which 
we are, as I say, we're kind of a mixture of wild men and, and those that are descended from uh, from Carlin's people. And, yeah, Herek, he's being, th well, his homeland is being threatened, but we talked about that before. We are trying to recruit some men there. And he is happy as a clam down here. As I say, Udrek is kind of, he is getting to the point now where he, he's starting to feel that the people uh, off, off the Angren are, are safe. Or, or rapidly they are becoming safe, that is. So it's, um, you know, he, he does want to be making, be preparing, be, you know, he wants to prepare for his, his end game. His end game being, you know, getting out of here. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, just seeing, seeing, what, uh, seeing what the seas have for him. Let's get you some construction going on. I think probably a fisherman's guild house or a farm. Yeah, communal farming probably. I've really been just neglecting general farms. That's why I think my population is taking a bit of a dive in comparison to others. Let's recruit some men from you though. And uh, can Bregnus do any recruitment? Well, no, probably not because we just destroyed everything. <laughs> but yeah, we just sort of wanted to get rid of every orcish taint that, uh, that the city, had, well, the town had. Uh, I guess it was basically a city when we moved into it. Yes. And let's do a siege first uh, of the Siege of Byrig. Now, I'm just very untrusting of, of auto battles. And uh, I think we can just jump into this, especially since Fosk has only got one command point. I think I really wish you gained command levels a bit faster. I think... I feel that you gain acumen really quite quickly, but like gaining um, points in command just seems quite slow. Um, you know, Fosca, but saying that, yeah, Fosca's been part of, oh, he's not been leading as the problem though. Most of his battles were always understudying um, the big man Tramac, so it's, uh, that's probably why. Now we've only, oh, we do have two units of archers, let's get them together and over here. And uh, yeah, everything else kind of just, yeah, every, just push up that ram, please. Everything else can march up and we'll assemble on the move. Nope, whoops, it is. Uh, three javelins. Oh, and then uh, of course, Fosca himself is a javelin unit, quite a decent javelin unit, armor piercing. You guys can, oh, eh, oh Eisenmark Axeman, nice target, but anything. Oh, that's, oh, that's so painful. Um, but that would be a nice position to, like, if people were attacking from here, just putting your archers there would be great. Uh, let's get you guys running over here super fast. And, oh, are they going to come out? Uh, they might. They might just do this. Um, why, why do you, do the war champions just love to use rams? They're coming out at us. Awesome. Okay. Um, no, they're not. No, they're not. Ah, oh, don't, don't do that to me, boys. Don't make me, don't really excite me. Um, let's get you guys running over here and just see if we can actually make use of that ourselves and, and hammer into them. Apart from that, get the jabs right there. If they're gonna if they're gonna leave the gate open, we might as well just you know throw javelins there, and Fosca can run over there. He might be able to get some uh, some jabs on in. Ended with hunters maximum armor upgrade. No, they don't get any sort of different aesthetic, but they do get how much armor do they get? Like three, four armor. Hey man, they can take an arrow or two, so that's kick ass. Um, and River Archers, sorry, I know a lot of people might not like me doing this, but I like, to, you know, I don't know these units too well. They've got five armor, but they do have one more level up to get, so they'll hopefully uh, be, you know, as I say, just getting beefed up is not something that you're you're ever going to really get in the, an Ended Wife campaign. Up and over shots are, as I say, never really appreciated, but uh, okay, they're coming at us. Um, Minhiriath Warriors, I really like these guys. I've been doing some tests with them, and uh, I've, I've Really, they've, they've grown on me a lot. And, uh, yeah, okay, it's kind of a chaotic um, rush out right now. So let's just get my, get everything I've got, really, to, to start throwing stuff at them. And, um, yeah, awesome. Pop that one. Yeah, they're, they're going to get massacred here. Uh, I say that as they are winning these fights. Fosca, you've got your, oh, aha, defensive stance, get that one. And, um... Yeah, just keep raining the jabs on. Grey Flood Raiders, get over here, please. And War Chanters, get over here, get chanting. And what have we got in the back there? That's my Grey Flood Axeman. Drop that ram, please. Kind of, uh, yeah, get up there just to back up the swordsman and, and, and sort of apply some AP to that fight. 
because the Griefler Raiders are not AP Javelins. You are a Fosca. And actually, you guys are too, but you're out of ammo. And I think I actually just sort of wasted their ammo. That's a shame. And then here, Earth Warriors. I really want to get you guys some experience. Um, but you guys are a bit harder to retrain, so we're going to hold fire on that. Just use up the use up the jabs. This, yeah, it's a bit of a massacre right now. Is this their entire... Oh, it's not. Beast Slayers. Oh, they're actually... They're a half-decent archer unit. Um, they're not getting great targets, but my horses are not really something that I want to get shot at. Even if they have that little shield value, it's not enough. Um, archers. Open up on them. You guys do not have the ability to fire back and be slayers. No, you don't. Um, do we want you to be shooting at all, though? Because you're kind of all just wasting your ammo. Just hold fire for now. Uh, you're probably going to be racking up a bit of friendly fire, too, so it's okay. Just avoid that. Nice. And uh, you guys... Yeah, well, my defenders drop like flies. Hmm. What else? They, they had another unit that they kept in reserve. What is this? Oh, the War Chanters, of course. Yeah, that's all right. I think we'll zoom it up. But see, the Minhareth Warriors, I'm, I, I really like these guys. Um, I think aesthetically, they're they're one of my favorite looking units. The Wildman aesthetic, like furs, uh, kind of just like the, the war paints and stuff. That's always something that I'm a massive fan of in games. So... Uh, and just this big, big two-handed sword. Their lack of armor, like they're getting shot at right now, is a real shame. But um, they can defend themselves, as most sort of sword master units can. As I say, I've sort of described my what is a sword master to me is is generally a two-handed swordsman unit. Doesn't mean that they're like exceptional or anything like that. It just means that they they wield a two-handed sword. So let's get running on in now and just try to really overflow because um, they have started to lose ground. Get the cavern? Yeah, get get the cavern moving around here. And get the Grey Flood Raiders around there too. Just just some backstabbing infantrymen. I think they've kind of turned around. Yeah, the Wildman Defenders are trying to stop us, but we're stuck right in their face. They're not going to last too long. Um, yeah, they're a bit panicked. Um, go back two times speed. Oh, nice sort of blobbing through, boys. <laughs> yeah. Um, when... Uh, when good old Galu was doing the the chat about like what the clans of Enidwaith are all about uh, faction overview <laughs> that's the word I was looking for and he went through all the units and he got to the gardens of Enidwaith he, he mentioned that they, uh, the gardens of Enidwaith um, have a body piercing javelin so of course when I hear body piercing I, I think like I'm thinking well, I, when I think body piercing javelin I think demons of the desert and I was like no way no way, that's a that's an automatic win if I'm getting demons of the desert here. But no, they, it's um, I think they do like pierce through like a person with those jabs, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, I think it might have just been a well, maybe not. I don't know if they do or not. By the way, Wildland Defenders stand in really nicely. They push on through Cav because they are spears at the end of the day, and that's going to be a bit unpleasant. We saw how nicely I was chewing through the through the wargs, um, or wags, as I say, depending on your uh, your preference run up there and nice yeah we're just kind of barreling on through get the swordsmen the minhariath warriors uh who are swordsmen and uh and our spearmen and just have them barrel on forward please uh false cut jump on forward too keep your morale in place over there archers you're not able to no no you're quite it's oh, you don't have to get too much closer, but no, run, run over here. I, I think the archers are kind of done so far. Uh, I'm just gonna get the backstabbing the war chanters, maybe. Great flood axemen. Get you guys off to the right side, please, because I want you to come in for sort of a side charge against something. Beast slayers are out of ammo, so they're now sort of like spearmen in melee. They're quite cool little units. I, like, I do like the beast slayers. Um, I won't be doing a Dunlin campaign, no, like, I think that this is kind of, this is fulfilling my desires for, like, a wild man campaign, and I do have a, have a bad habit of, like, I like, I like to be the good guys, you know, it's, um, I like to be, I like to be good, or I like to be moral, I like to be morally great, I don't like to be, I don't like to be bad guys, so, like, if I was to be Dunlin, I could definitely be, like, evil, uh, but it would reach a point kind of in the same way as like what's happened in this campaign where I've reached a point where my people cannot ignore the the what's going on in outside uh, what's going on outside of our, our clan territory you know we are it's 
it's it's really nasty out there. Mordor is a very scary thing. So I would see that you know after we defeated Rohan, I would see what's going on. And I'm just I would just have to a turn against the evil powers. I'd say I wouldn't be good. But, uh, you know, I've done so much evil, I couldn't be good, but I would uh, I would not be able to be evil anymore. Uh, run around the back, uh, Great Flood Raiders. You're out of jabs, but um, you can definitely do something. Uh, archers, yeah. If they're not going to attack, uh, then yeah, just shoot the war chanters, please. Um, there we go, run over that side. Let's see, it's kind of the problem with just these large unit sizes uh, in, in a siege. I, um... You know, you're, you're not really able to sort of squeeze around and such. But I definitely want to do some some smaller scale sieges on, like, Reforged. Uh, but I don't know. Like, I think people really like to play in larger battles. And people like to watch larger battles, which I totally accept. But, like, I just think you get a lot of fun out of, like, a, a smaller scale. You know, so you've still got lots of units uh, on the field. But it's just uh, there's less men. And you can kind of do some funnier stuff with them, maybe. And that's a swamping around. Get in there, Fosca, please. Uh, toss that out, too. And that's just an overwhelming thing, then. Uh, Cav, just to swamp them, too. Great. That's that's nice. That's that finished. How much do we lose? 26. No, that's all right. Uh, we could have done... We could have, like, saved some more lives by just shooting them a bit more, but... But, no, I'm, I'm happy with how that went. And hopefully, as I say, Fosca will grab um, a level in command from that. Wow, that's a lot of people healed. That's that's amazing. Um, whoa, that's great too. Yeah, that's that's really awesome. How many people we just healed up from that fight? Does Fosca Fosca doesn't have like herbalist or anything? But no, that's great. Uh, or like uh, strange medicines, I think it might be called something like that. Um, it's kind of weird that the <laughs> the right side has Minas Tirith in it, and uh, that's where like all the bad guys are. But then we've got like Faramir here. And like a bunch of Gondorian Cav coming from the west, or uh, that would be that would be the east, but I mean the left side of the screen. Um, yeah, bit bit odd. The uh, I don't know what that image is from. So that's Byreg. So that is the entirety. Um, I don't know what the population is here. I, I he yeah, as I say, Foskett tries his best to keep the um. Yeah, we missed, we failed that mission. He tries his best to keep the the ideas of Tramac alive. So yeah, he would he would not want to be massacring the people here. Um, mining network, chicken farm. No, nothing here is is needing destroyed. He's happy enough to to leave that. And they've got a new call. That's great. So if immediately we can just move into that. Uh, yeah, awesome. Um, let's see. So that's that's that all that territory secured now, and we can basically just sort of push up and uh, grab Tharbad, hopefully. Is there anything more up here? I don't... Yeah, we immediately get into Austin Athiel, which... Oh, oh god, you're... Mognag, I'm sorry. <laughs> Looking very unfortunate, but very good ruler. Holy smoke. Yeah, nice. Um, Let's send people out to these forts. Um, Just because I like to see the forts claimed. Um, But we won't do that right now. Actually, yeah. Jump over there. Just so that we've got them. And then... Uh, any retraining can be done? No, probably not just yet, anyway. And, uh, yeah, that population's okay. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna send that population around. So, that's... How, how many more... I think we just have to get that. Like, that's the only... Parthiar is uh, the only location that we actually have to secure. And then that's the entirety of, uh, yes. of Enid Wythe grabbed. Oh, oh well, that's interesting. Um, they've turned rebels on the on the Dunish. What's going on here, actually? Because they've lost. Oh, smokes! Oh, holy smokes! Dun landings are gone. Ah, great. Um. Oh, that's awesome. To... Well, hmm, that's a bit of a nuisance. Um. Okay, so the Dunish are gone. Um. Which means we do kind of need to... Yeah, we don't care about uh, Matrith. Matrith is, is not, even though that is, you know, as I say, that's Cardolan, but, like, that's too far north for us to really be paying attention to. Uh, you guys start the siege there, because I think that that's a really bloodied army. And if they did come out and fight you, we, we could just retreat, you know. Uh, we don't have to fight them, even if they come at us. Um, but, no, that's cool. 
Well, now the question is, what do we want to do with Tharbad? Do we want Tharbad? Um, hmm. It would be very, you know, very good for us. We can't repair that bridge. We do not have anywhere near the intelligence to do that. Uh, Cardolan, nice. Cardolan's, I, I really like Cardolan as, as a faction. They really get a, they get a rough, rough spot in history. That cannot be denied, but, uh, but no, they are, they're quite nice. So this is a rebel army now. Um, I might, so I might as well just go and, and try and smash it. Um, they are going to be pretty nasty, but they lack a general. We have a general, and um, so we should be able to just break their morale uh, and scare them off. Yeah, that's a nice, I like that, I like that shot too. That's cool. So we are going to be, yeah, I didn't expect the Dunlanings to be gone, but no, that's that's good. It's good that Dunlanings are out of this now, so we can start just, um, a, you know, healing. Really, uh, the, a, the hope is that our northern border will be safe, just permanently safe. Now we are attacking. Um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to deploy, be deploying here. Uh, do we want to just do that and then I'll, I'll pause it and spread out? Yeah, uh, yeah, we might as well. Um, that's actually really risky. We'll have to pause it. Uh, what do we have? Archers, archer, archer, archer. Three archers. Um, get you guys set up right here, please. Run, run, run. Get off skirmish mode. Spear, spear, spear. I wish you could organize these guys out like on the campaign map just so they're permanently the way you want them. And run, run, run. Sword, 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 sword. I know they're little axes, but they're swordsmen to me. And uh, then everybody else out in front. Big man himself, the heir to Tremax legacy. Well, the heir to Tremax bloodline. Are arguably, Fosca is the heir to Tremax legacy. Uh, let's get two on that side and actually the Angren Raiders here on the right. It's funny that the Angren Raiders just can't get skirmish mode on. They're like, no, we don't do skirmishing here. Uh, so run, run, run. Everybody that isn't running, start running. Because they might they might lunge up at us. I think they are. Oh, that's cool. They became the remnants of Carlin. Um, instead of being th the done lendings. Uh, we'll have to kill these guys. Yeah, because we don't want rebels to just run off and, and, and have to fight them again. We want to be wiping out these rebels. Uh, good. Awesome. Um, we kind of... We want to push forward, so we're gonna we're gonna no no if we if we get our infantry to where we want them, wow they are they are coming at us, okay uh yeah just open fire while wow, they are gonna really extend far onto our right flank, hopefully we just beat them here in the middle, and uh, and then that's great get you on fire at will please just get everybody on fire at will, counter charge down, counter charge down a little bit counter charge and you guys did not get the opportunity to counter charge because I'm a bit silly, um. Uh, char. Ooh, no, yeah, you're going to need to get around the right flank. Oh, yo, yo. Um, Dunlining Berserkers. This might actually go pretty, pretty bad. Our uh, our front line is, is, is struggling. Angren Raiders. Yeah, no, you need to get out of there. You need to use up your ammo. Archers, I'm not really letting... I'm not really having you... Well, I'm not picking your targets. I'm sort of just letting you do what you want. And hopefully you uh, get the horsemen. Yeah. You guys... Get ready to get those horsemen, actually. Yeah. Front, this left and most unit is going to be smashed by... Oh, I told the wrong unit to fire. Oh, well. Um, what are we at? 10 for 18. We are winning. But they are starting to fold around us. Such a waste to use the AP javelins on the, on the clan spearmen, but we cannot get flanked right now. Oh, that... These poor river swordsmen are going to be getting... That's, that's where uh, our general is going to lodge himself into. Good, smashing them back. Get you guys back here. Grey Flood Raiders are having to fight in melee for a little while, but hopefully that's not going to last. Oh, jeepers, they really have gotten around us. Good, that's that broken. Um, slam into the main line with your javs. You guys are almost out. Get your forces into that. Dunlending Warband. Farmhand Pikes, a ah, bit of a pain, but they're so far behind. You guys shoot the Farmhand Pikes, please. You guys shoot these farm out oh, the, the warband that's okay with me they are kind of being weird not really running away from us um yes i think it's like wash them away they say i quite like that because they're like rivermen um uh, just smash those last few horsemen that was quite a nasty route actually from our front line uh, so yep, get get stuck up there because um, as I say, our front line has been swap been just pushed aside. 
Oh no, this was going this was, this was going really well for a while, but now um, we are starting to really struggle on the front line. I think it's sort of the lack. Oh no, you guys have a great shot. Keep that up. Um, oh dearie me, that's not what you want to see. General is surrounded, boys. Give him some. Fu oh god. Oh, I don't want him to die. I quite like his his little story and all this. Um, just the last man uh, to. Uh, yeah, damn, damn, damn. They're they're getting shot to pieces. Well, he's he's really struggling there. Oh, we at 31 for 47. We are winning. Uh, but so much of our power is just in archers now. Where's the general? Okay, he's safe for now. He is safe for now. And we're cleansing that side. Ended with hunters. Get right up here, please. You guys are out of ammo, aren't you? Get over here and help the general. Uh, because that left side is going to be okay. Yeah, our left side is going to be okay. Farmhand Pike's coming on in. Clan Spearman. Yeah, no, we just need the Elder Guildsman. Some, need, oh, yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. We do not want to see you die. Yeah, good. You you are moving out. Your father would not want to see you die here. And uh, the Lukyu people kind of do need their clan leader for now. Uh, in this time of uh, great change. Ah, oh, you've still got your jabs left. Move around the side. Put an end to this little Dunlending Warband attack. You guys still do that? You guys still... Ah, oh, damn. Somebody. Get in guard mode, please. And just, just hammer them. Oh, hell. Farmer Pike's coming around. Ooh, yo, yo. Yeah, just stayed close to the front line. I think some people have come back from routing. They did. Good. Uh, we want you on the left flank. Yeah, go and help the River Spears. Put an end to that. And... How are you doing? Ah, damn, damn, damn. Shoot Shooting up is never what you want to see. Run on through there, please. And you guys. Eh, not bad, not bad. Right into the farm and bikes. Good, good. It was dicey for a minute, but I think we have retaken control. We'll suffer a lot of casualties doing this, but this army needed to go. And um, he'll hopefully he'll hopefully be able to make it back and lick his wounds and then uh, be ready to take Tharbad. If we can take Tharbad, we're going to take Tharbad. It's, as I say, the, the people of Ened Wyth are kind of in this... Even though, like, Tharbad was never really ours, we've suffered to build it. You know, our... our it was it was the blood of our ancestors that was, that was used, uh, that was spent building those walls, building that bridge. So, yeah, we're... We deserve it. If... But at the same time, if, it, if it's held by a civilized man, we're not going to we're not going to take it from them. Uh, it's, that's not that's not something we don't deserve to steal it, but we deserve to have it. That's kind of the mentality that I'm going for with all of that. And um, kind of the same thinking with uh, with why we want that uh, that location there, and why we'll try to buy that province from the elves. Ooh, farmer pikes, yeah, just they'll take a long time to shoot through us or stab through us. You guys, do you want to kill the farmhand pikes in melee, please? What's this? Some river archers remaining. We have suffered for this one. Definitely suffered a lot for that one. Uh, some more farmhand pikes coming on in. Um, and they're going to have a lot of guys running off the field, but it should... It's not going to be too many, actually. Oh, they want, they want the general's blood. Um... Actually, it's so few. It's only 15 of them. Just counter charge. That should be able to just smash them down or break them. And blow your horn, please. Battle is in our favor now, the announcer believes. It's always good. Yeah, that's that broken. Ooh, yeah, I actually did lose some people. I see. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Whenever I, whenever it zooms into that, I'm just like, oh, not us, not us. Um, yeah, just end that battle. Oh, yo, yo, that was pretty messy. Elder Guildsman did nicely. Who was the champions there? Oh, Great Flood Raiders, good stuff. And then the River Archers with their 331. Angren Raiders did not too bad, too. Good. Um, yeah, pretty chaotic little scrap, but, uh, but all done and dusted there. So, yeah, we can we can try to take Tharbad. Um, Austin Athel, though, is not... No, like, that's, that's not something we want to take. I'm not going to pick a fight with the Orcs of Moria. 
um well the goblins of moria the reason being for that like we view the goblins of moria as just this constant pest in the mountains like it's not something that can cause genuine concern to anybody um and until we kind of see like once again until we see like it has caused a concern like that's our viewpoint we're not going to be reacting any or we're not going to act like they're anything different um they actually do have a little bit of a navy there they've got a long ship which we're going to try to smash out i'm sure um dunlarak uh you can actually yeah that's great you can head over here and yeah of course immediately at a very high tax very high taxes sorry uh, so he's going to move over there and join that army. Join up with that army, even. Uh, Fosca. Fosca, you're going to go on a little... Not just yet. I want the spy to have a look around. But Fosca's going to go on a quick tower building spree around the border. And then he's going to probably move south. And I think, finally, ending turn 64. Yeah, it's like, jeepers, we spent like half that, half this episode on one turn. Um, we will get to be moving a bit faster soon, I think, now that Dunland is, is done and dusted. Dunland is done, you could say. So that's good. Um, yeah, that's them out of the turn rotation, but no, unfortunately it doesn't, it doesn't make it any faster. Yeah, the, you know, the, the game still has to work out everything, uh, all the same. Oh, Dominion of Isengard are moving on past us. Udric, yeah, okay, they're just moving past Karas. That's fine. Uh, Udric has the ability to to smash them out. Like, yeah, he he's got enough men there and uh, and a defendable enough position to to beat them back if they come at us there. So that's good. Um, there's oh good damn it, they're gonna they're gonna siege our ports, aren't they? Uh, Brigness, yes, please. Um, get a hunter's guild. Dunland dwindles. Well, they're they're gone. So, but we'll 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 read this. What was the spilling of simple hatred into a land once theirs has turned into the swirling cries of grieving widows amongst the huts of the hill folk? The cruel feathered dread, the cruel feathered dead lie in funeral pyres and burn for the dreams that were fed by eternal bitterness. The dead do not speak, but their sacrifice is just one part of a dance to the death. Still, yet the hunger could save them for hunger is more than is more than drives uh, some other men to victory now this they don't spawn an army do they um because they're gone <laughs> they don't get an army spawned i'm sure uh having a look around i think that it's kind of safe so cavalier i just like to see my little flag above the forts that's all <laughs> a bit weird like that you uh, it does cut down on your movement a little bit but I need you to have some sort of defense. Actually, okay, no, the Western Peaks, that's not our territory. I'm fine with them. Being left, start building some watchtowers, please, Fosca. Um, what do we want? One there, one somewhere up here, and then one somewhere in that corner, and that'll be fine. Uh, you move on down to take that fort. Dunlarak is totally undefended. Let's build an armory there, just to put my mind at ease. Military, oh no, that's a military camp. I always see that and I, th I don't know, I just think it's something special. Um, which a military camp is something pretty special. Uh, speaking of that, Alk Food is upgrading, you're building, you are building, Bardven, building, Herot is not building. Apothecary, I think, would be nice. Muster ground, farming, let's get some farming actually. Uh, Brigness, no, yeah, you've got a lot of construction to be done. And over here, anything that we want. Ballista, smoking house, probably a smoking house. Moot hole. Yeah, get a moot hole there. And nice. And then Balorn. Balorn is happy as can be right now. Ooh, get some retraining done for our boys. Get them back. As I see, you can uh, retrain mercenaries in the provinces that you could recruit those mercenaries from, so that's fine. And yeah, um, move up, rejoin. Uh, can we get any retraining done? We could. Uh, let's retrain these guys. And then. With that, um, actually, with that, I think we're going to make a move on Tharbad. Because Tharbad's not got a very strong defense, and we want to make sure that we kind of start grabbing it before um, before they can. So let's switch that to growth. Hopefully they're happy enough. Yes. Uh, switch something. Nothing is, is fast enough. No, it's good. That's okay. Yes. Argond being defended. You join up. And how is this looking? 
Uh, I trust the auto battle. I do trust the auto battle. Um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, yeah, yeah, I trust it. Let's, yeah, we've got good, good uh, leadership skill there. Bam. Good. Well done. Thank you, Fire Out. And we couldn't exterminate the pop. Not enough pop. Oh, that's not good to see. Oh, God. How many people live here? 150. <laughs> 150 people live here. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not what you want to see. Uh, oh, well. Uh, let's go and speak to the High Elves now, actually, to, to try and see if we can buy that province from them. I, I'm going to need to see what it's called, though. So I'm going to need to get a spy over there. Uh, because I don't want to march troops into that territory. Uh, to have a look. Then, construction report. Nice faction. And yes, good. 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 So, um, with this, we're not going to... We're not going to be too worried about the population there. Like, I might end up moving people over there, but only if I find a good need to do that. Yes. You know, we don't mind, like, we don't mind if our population is pretty empty. You know, that's that's not something that we, we worry about. Uh, it's it's good to just have these these vast open plains with, um, you know, that are, that are quite barren. Jump into there for now. Uh, just get a little bit of, of, of capture it and then also get a little bit of free maintenance for now. But uh, you are going to be linking up with Harek and together moving east to grab. Yeah, it's this. And yeah, awesome. That'd be great. We're going to need to leave some troops in, in Bregness. Uh, but we'll be able to do that. Do we want... Yeah, no, we need... Yeah, because that's just an open avenue. Bye, Reg. Oh, good thing I noticed that. Yeah, I need to just get that to like automatically do it, but I'm just bad with that. Uh, good, 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 good. Um, up here, maybe. Let's have a quick look at our diplomat. Your orders. No more movements As you wish. east from yes. the or west even from Dale. No, now they're chilling out. They're chilling out. Good. What do we want? Let's get you Without down here question. to probably make another Tomorrow's trade deal with the. Well, I make another map information deal with those off the veil. Vale. See how that's going for them. Ah, uh, good. I think that is a case of ending turn. Okay. Yeah, um, it is nice that we've had, like... Well, yeah, so good now. Gondor will really be able to focus on the east. And uh, hopefully they can help Rohan a bit. Um, and keep them from sort of falling apart in their battle against Mordor. Really, the beacon of the north right now is is Dale. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if there's a con a consul command to like force Dale to give Edoras back. No, Edoras, uh, Erebor back to Erebor. I I would consider doing that. Um, I'm not going to, but I, I I really you know that's the type of thing that I think would be a pretty solid shout. Um, I'm more up there still. What I'm gonna be doing right now, firstly diplomat off to the high elves to see if we can buy that province from them i don't know if they'll do it but they might oh fantastic so finally fosca uh, the benefactor of fosca has has been able to find someone that is um off the the dunlending lineage and he can um he's going to be Bringing him into the fold. Ah, nice. Good. Uh, where is that? Where is Karasai? I'd, I'd like to just pop those down. They're not too expensive, so. Um, but, as I say, Fosca has managed to finally find someone that uh, is... Uh, where? Where is he? Oh, the capital? Alkford? No. Um, where did you spawn him? Oh, no, he is there. He's just at the end. <laughs> Why are you there? So he is... Uh, he's going to head to the Dunnish capital. So he is a, as I say, a man of, of Dunnish origin that um, is able to side with us in this case. So he's going to be the new clan leader of Dunland. Um, yeah, and I think, yeah, Dunlorak is probably a good base of operations for him. Even as badly as it was busted up, it's, it's the historic capital of Dunland. So it would be a good place for him to set up. Um, spy, just go here. Now we're... Oh, that's the end of our territory. So if you want to... You can't actually, but... I still want to put a... 
watchtower there. And then move like there and, and pop another watchtower down. Hmm. I think probably move up and observe the Dunedain right now. So the Dunedain are, of course, someone that we don't really... Whoa, we're the largest faction. Interesting. Our provinces are definitely not the same worth <laughs> as many others. We may be the largest in a uh, in number of provinces, but um, yeah, <laughs> most of them are, are not so great. So, yeah, but that's still something that is not going to stop our people from taking immense pride in that. That is uh, an amazing achievement for for the people of Enid Wythe from the from the position that we were in at the start of this campaign. We are we are chuffed to bits with that. We can recruit people. We can recruit bandits, but no, no, we don't we don't need that. Um, so, so we wouldn't want to do that. Get you over here. Um, I kind of want to save up money because I know that. If the elves are even going to be slightly willing to do this, they're going to really want us to pay out the ass for it. But let's get a sh ship right. That does, it does increase tradable goods. Let's get communal farming, though, I think. Ah, damn. Yeah, no, it's time. It is time. Cameron, you're, uh, you are can't actually build ships. <laughs> I have failed you, Cameron. I'm sorry. Can, I, can anybody recruit ships? I don't think anybody can. No. Um, oh, wait. Uh, Angren? No. You can't recruit. Oh, you can! You can recruit dragon bolts. That's that's better than long ships. Yeah, dragon bolts are quite decent. So I might actually put I might actually put them on that. Uh, can you? Oh, you can't right now. Five more turns. Siduri? No. Oh, you can. Good. Cameron is getting not Cameron. Sorry, Udrek. Udrek is getting a navy finally. Um, something that is of of great something that brings up great joy. I uh, can't stop, please. So, uh, yeah, uh, he, oh, damn, I want to get you in and, uh, no, there's too many bad guys around. Uh, he might not be able to personally lead that navy. I know it doesn't do anything to have a general inside, uh, off, off, you know, these ships, but I still like the idea of, Car of, of Udrek just, just being in them during the battles and having him sort of defend it from a lower standpoint, well, command it from a lower standpoint. Yes, can you move to double team this guy? Yes, yeah, stuff that. Let's get him dead. Um, you get there. You guys get out. Up Regnus and screw him. He's running. No? Is he not? Oh, no, no. He's, he, we were not able to reach that. Switch that to growth, please. Oh, that still is making them unhappy. So you guys get down to Regnus, please. Stop that from rebelling from us. And uh, yeah, you're going to be fighting, please. No, we will personally command Harek. What have they got? Nothing really too impressive, but our armies are not very impressive either. Is this going to be a bridge battle too? Oh wow, this is like our first proper bridge battle. Oh, that's a very spooky picture. That's really unpleasant. <laughs> oh god. Uh, yeah, Gollum. Um, I don't know, like I think the movies, um, the movies, I think they, uh, you know, everybody did a very good job, but the movies definitely made me feel certainly not sympathetic toward Gollum. I guess maybe sympathetic, yeah. Um, but they made me feel very much like, oh, oh it's just Gollum. Maybe he's, he's, you know, Gollum, cute little boy. I don't know. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe maybe cute is, is the right sort of term that I'm looking for. You know, that they did sort of make him, as I say, appear cute. Run, please. You're going to need to get here as quickly as we can because these poor... Well, th we're attacking... Uh, Urukai archers, actually. Bloody hell, do not... Yeah, yeah, you guys fall back. Just get back from that. And if they're just going to sit there, then we'll just sit here. We're not going to... We're not going to exchange fire if we don't have to. Um, They've got one unit of archers. Yeah, cool. Um, Let's just keep the boys running for now. But we're not going to have them running if we they don't have to. Uh, okay, they didn't actually... Just move, move, move. Um, we're not going to have them run if it does look like they're just not going to move at us. Yeah, run for a little bit though, just so that you are a little bit closer. And uh, now, yeah, you can you can run until I see somebody get active, and then they can stop. Pushing across that bridge is going to be hell, but uh, warmed up, good. Um, but I don't actually have any real intention to push across. What we're going to be doing is we're going to set up our archers. Oh, 
Oh yeah, ah, good, good. Uh, we're gonna set up our archers and we're just gonna hammer them. Um, ah, crap! This is the problem with just these really bad militia archers. Just no range on them. Yep, we're just gonna have to try and cross that bridge and shoot them on the bridge. How much do you have to get across? Yeah. Yep. Good. Open fire. So, Harek uh, is here. We have Angren Raiders. Set them up on this side. Got another unit of archers. Get them on over here. Why are you... Stop, please. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, point blank shooting, I guess. Uh, right into their archers and, uh, and just mince that for a bit. We will take some real casualties here too, of course. Uh, get you chanting, please. Get you over here. And then, what do we have swordsman-wise? Uh, not a lot. Okay, okay. Um, pause for a sec, because they're coming at us. And run away. Get our swordsmen over here. And it's kind of just been going to be a case of merging up on the bridge. And um, we'll see how these... This is my first battle with farmhand pikes, like, using them. So, awesome. Open fire there. And slow on down to normal speed. Because you need to get over here. Harek, you would want to get quite close, please. Uh, you need to get quite close in order to actually throw your payload. Uh, Farman Pikes, yeah, you are back into action probably. Run away. You guys get over here, or you gals get over there. Uh, what do we have? Angren Raiders. Angren Raiders. Not really enough room for all of our throwing units on this, uh, on this battlefield. Good. And then the three archers. Archer, archer. Archer, just get archer two <laughs> you guys all close up and just get back leave the leave the really close space for the javelineers ended by clansmen kind of enjoying that fight good good on you boys uh Harek is gonna get like right behind the lines oh those wargs if they get through that'd be hellish but i don't see them pushing through the pikes they oh well yep some of them are um Get on guard mode. Uh, our river scouts, certainly not a fun fight for them, but our river scouts should be able to deal with them if we have them vastly outnumbered. Yeah, that's good. The announcer's enjoying this for us. And I'm enjoying it too. We're at 5% casualties right now. Checking out that. We do need to keep throwing stuff at them though, because our uh, our boys are, yeah, let's, we're going to be throwing her wreck on that front line in a moment that good do you sure you don't have any target angry raiders keep on flooding in yeah herrick's gotta get up there um good their general dropped uh are they are the archers able to find a target no, not really right now ah they're running away from us those enemy archers good yeah they'll be breaking momentarily i am sure i am sure of this What's the show that's like, oh yes, I'm sure. Oh yeah, that's uh, Generation Kill. I'm thinking of, yes, I've been assured of this. I've been assured of this. I really love that show. I need to rewatch it. Um, they're like running through them. They'll just be getting captured. I'm okay. uh, Scouts, actually. Yeah, uh, get to work. Um, try and grab those archers, then turn around and grab them. Warg Marauders have, have run off. Uh, yeah, keep in guard. We'll just keep shooting. We'll keep loosening your jabs. Go back up to six times speed. Those farm and pikes are really not too bad, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, yeah, continue that battle. Um, just because we got the Reaver scouts. Reavers there, and then uh, that's that. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Good stuff, boys. What do we get? 89%. Great. Uh, good stuff from the farm map. Really good stuff from the farm map pikes. Yeah, um, as I say, when it comes to situations like that, just even like a poor quality pikeman is is just great. Um, so hopefully, as I say, I can get my Dunlending pikes and, uh, and we can get some real mess, uh, messy fights going on. So I'm surprised that I'm larger than Mordor. But as I say, it's just because my provinces are really just low quality. <laughs> you know, we just don't have people in them. We just, uh, we've just got lots off them. So I do need to get 40 to win the game, but I'm not, like, as I say, my winning the game is gonna be very different to how the game views it as. Uh, so that's good. Uh, oh God, they just got nuked. Uh, switch that back to growth. Now, this is kind of a weird situation because even though Rule is the, the Moot Lord, 
he definitely is not going to disobey something that like Herek wants. So that's something that definitely will will hurt Rule in terms of how um, how the rest of the Confederation views him. But um, if Herek like Rule is is a very you know he he's got to hold uh, Fortree. Oh, it's not Fortree. Sorry, he's got to hold the the Malvina clan uh, and hold their territory and defend them. But uh, that will change in time. He will he will have to move off east. He will have to go and represent the clan as a whole, and uh, and go and do what needs to be done out there. And I think that's ending turn time. Uh, oh yeah, diplomat. Please don't bump into anything. Um, once oh dad bumped into Mich Mitchell Delvin. Um, so once he goes off and does that and goes to check out if the High Elves will sell us that, uh, then he's going to come back and he's actually going to try and make an alliance with the Bree Landers. The people of Bree have shown us that they are not expansionist. They are not... Um, they can fight, but they, that doesn't mean that they're warlike. They are, they are the perfect friends for us. You know, uh, we... We may be culturally different, but we are from similar stocks of people. We're both, we're both middlemen, you know. Well, actually, I think he, they might be, they might be Northmen, but you know, they are. Uh, we share a lot of similarities, and we share a lot of the same, um, uh, same histories. Of course, they are generally people of, largely Arnor, um, but they, many of them are Cardolan too, and, um, yeah, but still, well, sorry, Arthedain, not Arnor. We're all Arnor. Uh, and I guess that is that is the connection, of course. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, you off here to try and grab Tharbad because you're a bit too late. Uh, goblin notes. Um, ugh, dear. Yeah, I just don't like them blockading my ports. Another guy from Fosca. Do we need another general right now? I think we we can, yeah, we can. Uh, oh, yes, Hunter's Guild. Edoras is sieged. Uh, at least Edoras is not lost. Now, where has he popped up? He has popped up here. So this, once again, will be another, um, basically another Dunish man that Fosk has found uh, some faith in. So he's going to be holding Byreg for us. Uh, no, just low taxes, low taxes, boys. Just don't worry about it. And um, in addition to that, the goblins are a concern. I don't want to say that goblins are a threat, uh, because we've got no issue with the goblins. And, uh, you know, we, we don't see why the goblins would have an issue with us. So, pop a, pop a tower there, actually, when you when you get to your next turn. And, um, where is this province? Ah, there it is. Cole Willishar. Defended by, oh, damn, some Mithlon nobles. They've got pop, they've got a low population. That's kind of why I'm, it's, well, it's bigger than some places, though. That's why I'm hoping that they'll be okay to, to sell it to us. Um, can you find some? No, nope, not yet. Keep on moving, keep on moving. Uh, we could do with some building upgrades. Oh, I like Cameron's like white hair now that he's getting a bit older. That's cool. Uh, chicken farming, roads, moot hall, moot hall. Get a moot hall. And then uh, that'll be fine. You are getting a meeting hall. You down here. Anything but roads, really. Land, nah. Any, other, other places first, really. They will get upgrades, but just not soon. Um, port. It's an expense. Well, it's a big expense, but it's so worth it, I think, uh, when you when you do get your ports built up. Now, Brigness has been put under siege by a significant force, but we actually do have a decent garrison there, and we are we've got an armory. Um, now, what <laughs> I'm interested to see what that spawns for us. It probably will just spawn Wildman defenders, I would expect, but uh, who knows? Might end up spawning out some blooming um, orc fighters to defend us. Or what did they get? Orc defenders is what they had. Um, ah, nice. He's got unusual medicines. A wreck. Uh, come on back here, actually, and let's see. Really? <sighs> Crumbs. Just doesn't like our chances in these fights. Ooh, damn, more thanks, sentries. Um, take that off, please. And let's let's fight him in the field. Oh shoot, we are getting really low on time. Um, this this one will be over time. Sorry about that. Um, but we'll just do this last battle. And then I'll, I'll end the episode. Yeah, whoops and daisies. Um, so we'll probably end up with like 1 hour 20 or something by the end of this episode. Um, I know that I do battles a bit slower than a lot of people do. But it's just because I, I like to take battles seriously. I'm not going um, to apologize for that. <laughs> um, 
you know, I, I do, because I, I definitely, because I do make a lot of campaign map screw-ups, I really need to be taking battles very seriously, or I'm uh, gonna be struggling in this campaign an awful lot. Oh, we've got double war chanters today. That's nice. Um, okay, just form up together, boys. There are cavalrys here. What do they have, cav-wise? Some Dunnish cav. I think they've probably got an anti-cav ability, but I'm pretty sure our river scouts have got an anti-cav too. They do not. Our river scouts are spear cavalry. Uh, they do... Oh, bonus against horses, they do. Uh, so yeah, we are we are spear cav. So if we did want to fight them, we could do an okay job, especially considering we've got some experience points. That's lovely. And uh, let's form up properly now. Archers, archers. Oh, yeah, that's everybody coming together. We can keep it on faster speed. Only two archer units. Get them together. Get them over here. Um, Grey Flood Axemen. Only one Grey Flood Axeman. Let's get him on the right flank, please. Jav, 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 Jav. And uh, you as well. You're not Fosca. You may look like Fosca, but you're not Fosca. Um, head over here. Really sort of, uh, yeah, just, just jump over that area. And Mook Keepers, well, Swordsman, Swordsman. Oh, no. Okay, right. Get the, get the Axeman inside of that viewpoint of Swordsman. And then we'll keep Harek kind of split off. Uh, to, to be sent into the front lines where he is needed. And our two war chantresses, as I say, they're war chanters. I, I just like the word chantress. Enchantress, you know, it's, it's just such a, yeah. Um, you know, I don't think <laughs> war chantresses is a, such a silly word, but it just sounds fun to say. So yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight that. Um, nice, uh, kind of really heavy on the, on the jabs on the right flank, but that's kind of what I'm just wanting to do. Just just engage them on the on the left and then just really well engage them with the bulk of my army and then um overwhelm them with, with cavalry action. Well our uh, javelin actions on the right. Get my river scouts over here. Um Oh god, they do outnumber us quite significantly. So yeah, no, don't don't take that fight. Um we only got fifty guys in that horseman unit. So just kind of counter them if they do come for a charge against us. We've got two units of Urukai archers, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. What are you wanting to do? Are you are you running away from us? Okay, run up. We've secured the hell. Hopefully we just secure the hell. We rain some arrow fire on them. And then, um, yeah, it's it's a solid shout. And then we get a downhill charge against them too. They're going to shoot at us, which is not... Yeah, we need to, we need to engage them. Even though we kind of do have a good ranged advantage against them. Oh, damn, get off. Get off skirmish mode, please, boys. General, we need you up here, too. And the Angry Raiders. All the Angry Raiders get them over here. Actually, yeah, get, get them sort of spread out there. What are you guys doing? Okay. They're sort of making moves. They are making moves. Four chapters. Get chanting. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's kind of weird. They're, they're just sort of... Oh, they're going to be... Yeah, they're going to be alone out there. One quick touch, and I think they break. Hmm. Victory is almost certain. The announcer is pretty happy with me. Which is good. I'm happy with myself. Um, and Raiders, get them. Get them, boys, get them. Yeah, we definitely do not... Ooh, okay. Yeah. River Scouts having to jump one in there. Ooh, they're not going to enjoy that fight. Can you move, move to support? We need some infantry to uh, to win that fight because the river scouts are not going to be winning it on their own. Uh, what are they? Oh, Uruk Reavers. Some Angry Raiders are going to have to jump into the fight to take the attention, but then everybody else can come on in. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes, fortune of our, battle way. goes our way. Nice, right, sir. Uh, we can have one of the war chant... Or actually, let's get the beefier war chanter unit. Stop chanting, get in the fight. The smaller war chanter unit can get over here into the middle. And, uh, and do the right job for everybody. Oh, River Scouts, get out of there. Yeah. Tremac, oh, sorry, not Tremac. Uh, Herek is, is definitely enough to um, to finish that off. Reavers there can get jabbed up quite nicely. Um, Urukai Archers. Damn, I should have probably saved my, uh, my cab to just interrupt their archers, but we'll get that done now. 
They're running from us, so archers, turn your focus toward the Dunlending Horsemen. Burkai Raiders, just get them smashed. You guys, get them smashed too. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Hold fire. Backstab. You charge, actually, you charge the Reavers. And you guys start putting jabs into the archers. It's a bit of a weird thing to do, but uh, it's what's necessary. Both archer units go into the go into them. Why are you shooting backwards? Hmm. Uh, you put that into there. Parek is actually kind of struggling in that fight, and I do not want to see him die. Um, Reavers are over there. War chanters. Ooh, ouch! They've taken a bit of a, a beating. Ah, they jumped into the raiders, but if all the archers turn around and just close range blast them, that'll be it. Jump on into those reavers, please. You guys get uh, get jabs into them too, please. Uh, Grey flood axemen doing all right up against those archers. And yeah, uh, calf. Oh, calf. Uh, get the Orthanx sentries. I don't want them to put their javelins or well, uh, crossbows down on us. Ah, broken. Good. Good to see. Uh, keep shooting at them though, because they're going to be coming back. Run over there. Uh, you guys. Oh, yeah, they always start on not on fire at well, and I really do need them to be using their javelins. Uh, more reavers coming. Gosh damn. Uh, cavalry, turn around. Smash them, please. Try and break them. Get them in the back. You guys charge them, please. You guys, yeah, just keep on fire. Well, when you've got this many javelins, you can kind of just really meme around with them a bit and just let them go with, go fire at what they want. Um, I will, of course, have a more solid front line uh, when I when I build my real armies and such. Okay, how are you doing over Yeah, you're quite bloodied, Harek. I want to see you pull out because I don't want to see you die here. Harek's coming out, right? Nope, Marek is not coming out. Get the hell out of there, Marek. Marek, get out. Aw, oh, damn, Marek was way too slow, wasn't he? Yeah, he's sort of surrounded by them now. Move, 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 move. Oh, dear, he's right in the middle of that. He has gotten some distance, though, so he should be alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it, Marek. What is, what is the wrong today? Yeah, no, just get, get everybody stuck in. Just the way it's got to be. Trigger that, just get back in the fight. That was a bad move on my part. What are we at percentage-wise? We're doing we're doing pretty nicely. So as I say, this would this is a win unless we lose Harek. Then it's still a win, but it's just a, it's a very... Damn it! Damn it, Harek! Uh, I feel bad about that. Um... Yeah, had what sucks is that I think like had the moot keepers just stayed in that fight, would have been all right. Damn, damn, damn. It's a real shame. That's another one of our sort of original generals dropped there. And um, he is, of course, he has found a replacement to. You cannot like the people, the people of Malruna. You know that's the fact that like Harek has not died on on the territory of Malruna is is devastating. You know that's. Um, you know, of course, uh, Harek knew that you know he, he was dying in defence of the people of Malaruna, but that's not, yeah, that's just not the way that they'll they'll see it. Um, so yeah, that's that's really upsetting for me. But damn, yeah, had I kept everybody in there, maybe that would have gone differently. But no, oh well. I think I would have. I think he would have still gone down. And now. The only thing that could really devastate is if he ends up dying. Not oh, good. Uh, try to try to grab. Oh wow, you're you're almost dead. You should come back. Yeah. The um, medieval doesn't it doesn't do like the five percent rule like uh, Warhammer does. Oh dear. I would have thought I thought this was just going to be a quick little ending ending game battle or ending episode battle, but no. Frick. Losing Herek is 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 really upsetting. Um, but no, uh, hmm. oh well, we, uh, we will push on, as we do, and, uh, and just, uh, make, make the best that we can from this situation, but, as I say, all my generals now are going to be getting the, um, 
the unusual medicine trait and uh, that's going to give them that extra hit point which is really just beneficial and um i think Herek had like he already had like yeah like body armor and everything man of the hour i think yeah we do need a um Herek would have you know as as Herek was dying uh, on the battlefield he would have definitely sort of grabbed somebody and uh because uh, he knows new factioner is Fosca, right? So we know that Fosca is never going to become the chieftain. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh dear me. Okay, so mansion, and then over here we have. Oh gosh, dang. Um, Maldum, Malduna, Malduma, Maldumanak, Maldumanak, Mal, Maldumanak, Maldumanak. I'm gonna go for Maldumanak. Dear me. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, that's where we'll finish it off. Uh, so that was episode 11. A very, very traumatic episode 11. Jeepers sake. Um, but that was episode 11. So thanks guys. See ya.